Hey guys, Todd here. Got an, an old friend back here. Uh, well, no, yes and no. Um, I've got this. This is the T, the, the, the TH2 hybrid by Witcher Mods. Uh, this was sent on to me free for review by Vapist at vapist.net. Link will be up in the corner, and uh, as always, you know, the link will be direct link for the shop will be in the YouTube description. Uh, now, Witcher Mods. Um, Cyclone, the Cyclone on top. I've one of the very first reviews I did. Uh, I think it was for a Cyclone uh, back in the mists of time now, and uh, it's a, a top-fed Genesis atomizer. Uh, you know, the tank is actually up the top instead of the bottom, and the juice is gravity-fed. Um, now this is a telescoping mod, telescopic mod. There's a TH1 and a TH2 and they're 120 pounds but basically the way it works is the TH2 telescopes from the bottom out and the TH1 is the other way around. Um, for example here this is a standard T1, it's not the hybrid version, you can see this is telescoping up the way, so that's what the, the TH1 hybrid would do, uh, but I've got the TH2, uh, and they're both the same price and you get them both from Vapist. Um, stainless steel, bottom firer, locking ring, 22mm in diameter, yeah, I couldn't be wrong could I? 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, you can actually buy the a 22 millimeter cyclone as a 510 device, but this is all in one, and and it doesn't come off or anything like that. I was thinking what I can tell you before we go in for the close-ups, and I can't think of anything, so we'll just go for it. So here we go. This is before I touch this. This is what it looks like. It's uh, mirror polished and uh, you, you've got the, the logos etched on here uh, and there you can see that uh, my fingerprints are now starting to get all over it uh, it comes exactly like this I mean it comes with the drip tip and it's a beautiful drip tip because it really suits the mod um, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll start at the we're going to start at the top here actually for a change uh, take the drip tip off put that to one side and right away you can see if we look in here that is actually the tank that holds all the e-liquid now if I screw this top cap off here so there we go and this is the tank full of e-liquid now what happens is you'll see holes hopefully you'll see holes. There's four holes right round here and that is basically where your vapour comes up. You know, the vapour comes up, it gets passed round this tank and comes out the mouthpiece. Uh, the only drawback to that is it does lead to a cooler vape. I mean you're going to get a cool vape from this and over time you will get condensation build up on this. So be aware of that, you know, you will get condensation on this. Now to take the tank off, I just tip it up, and there we go, got all my juice in there, and this is how I set my wick up, you can see it's, it's just poking out there and no more, uh, so some people like the wick to go right into the tank of juice. Some people have it like me. Uh, there's, you know, there's so many different ways to do this, uh, but you can see that it's not totally tight there. It's, there is a little bit of movement in that wick there. That's just the way I prefer it. 
uh, because there is a bit of a black art to actually, <laughs> well, yeah, there can be a bit of a black art to, to get this to wick properly. You see you've got your air hole here. It's a very tight draw. It's quite a tight draw. It's, I think it's about 1.2, but I must admit this actually had... You can see that it's... When they've been drilling this out, it's almost like they've pressed too hard and they've actually dimpled you know, the finish on it. Uh, but I had a little bit of gunk inside there, but I cleaned that out and now the vape's fine. So if we unscrew this here, you can see my horrendous wick. And here we go. So there you go, you can see all the juice splattered about in there. You got a Delrin insulator in the middle for the wick. And we'll just see if we can't get in a bit tighter here. Now So that's my work there. Now the thing I have to point out here is that I've actually cheated. One of the things, I'm going to tighten in here. One of the things I've never liked about this was the, the negative screw here screwed right down onto the deck and it means that the coil has to be, you know, sit quite low. So what I've done is I've got two wee spacers out of my toolbox and just put them on there. And I've found it so much more, it just makes it a lot easier to set this up. Just having that negative screw just a mill off the deck. Uh, so if you've got any little washers or anything like that, just stick them under there and uh, it makes all the difference. You can see here we've got a Delrin insulator and there's a hole there which we'll come back to. And there's the positive terminal. There you go, you can see my coil on there. Now, I've done builds on this various times and what I'll do is I will link back to my original build and show you how to do this uh, rather than doing this again. But there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, basically, a lot of people, what they will do is you could build a micro coil or something like that put the micro coil, build it in situ, you know, just put the micro coil here and then pop the, the wick down into the micro coil, you know, just roll it until it gets thin enough to pass through or you can use the drill bit method. Uh, what that hole that's in the insulator is handy for, if you use a, a needle and I think I can't remember the size of the needle offhand, but even a, an unfurled paper clip uh, like this, or just an unfurled paper clip. Wrap your wick round this, your your mesh round this, and then sit this in the hole with the mesh still round it, and it holds it in place while you wrap the coil. So there's there's three different ways to do it basically. The only thing that I have to say, and you have to be very very careful about, is that there is not a lot of room between the positive and negative. I mean, it's it's a bit of a pig to build sometimes. It really can be a bit of a pig. Uh, but if you go for the drill bit method or the micro coil method, then you, they do work quite well. So there we go, there's the, the deck. Uh, Batteries on its way out, I think. There we go. Right. I'll zoom back out. So onto the mod itself. Um, telescopic. So I'm just going to unscrew this. Now, when this arrived, this section was totally polished. But even after the few days of me using it, you can see that the threading is creating this marking on it. You're not going to get away from that, so if you don't like that look, then I'm afraid you're, you're scuppered. 
So this is going to take 18650, 18500 and 18350 batteries. Personally, I have to say I, I wouldn't advise a kick. In fact, you're not going to get a kick in there because of the threading. Now you can see there that that bolt, you've, you've got the Delrin piece and a, a brass it's a brass bolt or a brass screw going into it and that bit of brass is what the this positive post screws into here. Uh, it looks off centre and it is off centre uh, because of you know this actual insulated bit here is off centre as well so if it comes like that don't worry about it you know it's, it's supposed to be off centre but it's threaded all the way up uh, the switch does not unscrew so I'm afraid if you want to change a battery if you're into 18350s then you're going to be screwing this right in and right out every time you want to change a battery and you, you kind of get the gist now uh, there's a whole lot of screwing going on finar finar wibble wibble right we have a locking ring here you can see when it's unlocked that you have vents at the bottom in the button there so here we go let's let's take this bad boy to bits because I'm pretty sure this is a magnetic uh, button that's in here going on all the rubbish that it's been picking up off my desk so I've just got my arm key in there and I'm just going to undo this at the bottom pull that out and you can see the switch assembly there see there's an o-ring that o-ring is a spacer in there so I'm just unscrewing this as well now Go the bottom's popped off, and there we go. It's all it's all falling to bits. <laughs> right. Oh, we've got three magnets in there. So there's the base. Got all our magnets, and you can see that this just sits in there. Well, not like that. This will drop in through here. So it's, it's quite a it's quite a straightforward setup to be perfectly honest. I do actually like quite I quite like the throw on it. Uh, and now God these are strong magnets and this is going to be an absolute shit to put back together I'm telling you that now. Uh, I'm going to try setting these in here and then putting this one on top and that seems to have done the ticket ah, that's fine, there we go right I need to drop this down here so that needs to get dropped down the tube and I'll pop this back in holding that in by my finger listen, I'm making an absolute meal out of this you know, it's really at all at the end of the day you're just putting the magnets in and you need to screw this screw back in it's it's not rocket science it's nothing complicated it's just you know there we go that's it now uh, I can just tighten this up so there we go all the tools out the way now and uh, yeah that's fine uh, I might have to nip that up a little bit just because the there we go, it's now flush. I got to be honest, I mean it's, it's got a really nice throw on it, I quite like the button and it doesn't wobble about like crazy. Uh, just works well. It's a shame about this scoring on you know the tube, but you know that was the same in their old mods as well. Uh, It's strange, it looks like, I mean it's a brass contact going into the bottom but like that little screw that goes in is just a, looks like a stainless steel screw. So, let's pop in 18350 battery back in. 
and we'll do this all the way back up. And there we go. It's firing away fine. I did not, I had a little blemish on mine. Uh, don't know if the camera will pick it up there. See that mark just there? There's kind of like a, a blemish on the polish, on the finish. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if I had actually bought this, you know, Vapist is spot on, you know, I could just, I would send that back and he would replace it no problem at all. Uh, it's one thing you don't have to worry about is customer service. Uh, it's excellent. So, we're all built up. I'm going to take my tank. Now, when you're building this, you know, make sure your wick is small enough that it's going to pass through this hole. You don't want it to be that tight that when you screw this cap on and off, you know, the wick's going to move as well. You don't want that to happen. Once that's on, I'm just going to take my tank. You get a good 2 mil in there, no problem at all. Uh, you might squeeze two and a half in, but I've been putting two mil in. Pop the tank on, doesn't matter which way it goes on. Just push it on there like so. Give it a wee wipe down, get the condensation off. Pop that on. Pop the drip tip on. Right. Camera's a bit low, isn't it? What the hell? Uh, Height wise in 18350 mode, it's about 118 millimetres. Uh, yeah, it's about 118 millimetres. I gotta admit, in 18350 mode, I quite like the look of it. I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm always honest, but uh, I like the switch. The switch is actually very good. I remember the original switches back in when these. Oh, long time ago now. Uh, and the switches weren't the best. Big improvement. The quite a nice switch now. Um, the actual finish on it. I mean, I've got a blemish in mine, but you know, I would send it back, and Carol would, would replace that. Uh, it is a nice looking. It's a fingerprint magnet, and and then some. Uh, but you know, that's the price you pay. And I love my fingerprint magnets. Uh, I like the logo on it. I actually think it's a beautiful looking bit of kit. Uh, building it. Building it is can be a bit of a black art, like I said. You can do a micro coil. You can use the drill bit method. Um, or you can get like a unfurled needle. Wrap your coil, around, your mesh around that. Place it in that little hole that's on the deck and then wrap your coil round that. Um, personally I've found that using the drill bit method or a micro coil works a treat on this. Uh, get your coil in place first. When you're rolling your mesh I've, I've said this before uh, many times when you're rolling your mesh Remember, when you roll your mesh one way, it tightens the mesh up. When you roll it the other way, it loosens it. Well, you're kind of balancing both ends out. You want one end to just pass through the top hole into the tank, so you're going to roll that until it's just the right diameter, and you want the other end to be just the right diameter to pass through the coil. So you just roll that. So there is a knack to it. And I'll, like I say, if you go and look in my other links, or it'll be in the description, a link to the video. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's fine. Uh, how does it vape? <coughs> Excuse me. It's strange going back to the cyclone after so long. Um, 
I've forgotten what a cool vape it is. It's you get a good taste from it. If you're into your fruits and things like that, um, then you you would like this. If you like a warm vape or a hot vape, if you like anything, I mean, I'll quote Scott here. Uh, I get you sixty nine. You know, if 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 hot was five and one was cool, this would be a one. Uh, it's, it's as cool as you get, vape wise. Um, so it's some folk might like it, some folk some folk might not. Hundred and what did I say it was? hundred and twenty pounds. The other thing you can get before I forget is uh, you can buy a a different tube for the top. This is separate, basically a five one zero tube. So you can convert this into just being a standard mod. Uh, that's extra, uh, but uh, this is everything as it came. For me personally, it's uh, my style of vaping has moved on. I used to adore these things. Um, it was my first conquest and rebuilds and things like that. Uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed them. And I still am enjoying the vape from it. It's just not the way I like to vape now. But I wouldn't let that detract you from the mod. Negatives. For me, I wish they had this button was a different, a threaded section. Uh, I just wish that, you know, if you wanted to change out to an 18350 battery, you just unscrewed the switch, pop a battery in, screw the switch back on. That would make life so much easier. Uh, I mean, you can see that it's, it's not the biggest hassle in the world. It's the threads are actually quite nice on it. Pop the battery out there, no bother. Uh, I can take a, an 18650 there. So that's her 18650 mode. Yeah, I, I just, and the threading marks on the tube, it's another thing I don't like, I don't I don't like that, if, it, if those threading marks didn't appear then I'd be happier, but it's just one of these things I suppose. Um, the fact that the, to build it, on the original Cyclone, it was a bit of a pain in the backside. It was a small, was it 16 mil the first ones? I can't remember. And the positive and negative posts were really close together. Um, and, you know, it was a bit of a pain in the backside to build sometimes. I wish with it being 22 mil that they'd perhaps spaced out the posts just a little bit to make it a bit easier to build for folk. Um, once again, uh, it's just my opinion. If you can build any of the Cyclones, then you can build this one. But just a bit of a missed opportunity in my book. In my book. This isn't going to be for everyone. Uh, as far as rebuildables go, in my opinion, uh, going on all the Genesis type devices out there, top fed, bottom fed, uh, micro coils, all this kind of stuff, uh, this is quite a hard one to build. Um, it's not a run-of-the-mill type build. It can be a bit unforgiving and there is a definite knack to it. Uh, a definite knack. So, that's it. The Witcher Hybrid TH2 or the TH1. This is the TH2. I'll remember. I've got to admit, I do like it. I, I do like it. I was cursing it up and down the other night, I really was, but I, I do have a big soft spot for the Cyclone. I, I really do. Uh, I think the Switch is a huge improvement in what they used to do, and you know, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. Telescopic 18350 to 18650. That's it from me, guys. Uh, if you want to grab one of these, go along and see Vapist at vapist.net uh, and as always mate, thanks for sending this on and uh, for you guys, uh, remember check out the YouTube description for a link on how to do a rebuild on one of these things and uh, we shall catch you later.
All the best. Bye now.